All right, so I'm gonna do some easy kitchen liquid culture. I got uh, 200 milliliters of distilled water in my media bottles. Got some two lava bond, a very light dry malt extract. I'm going to uh, run this at 0.1%, so that means it's going to have to be 0.2 on the scale here. And that doesn't make for a whole lot of powder. There's not very much on there. 0.21 is close enough. Add this into the water. Now I'm using these disposable way boats. Uh, this is what like you would find in a lab or whatever that uh, you know allows you to tear your drink vessel. It's very light. They're you know they're pretty flimsy. They're great for uh, they're great for weighing shit out. You don't have to use a little folded up piece of paper or whatever. That's pretty ridiculous. I'm a bougie guy, so. You know, I use lab spoons, I use whey boats, I have proper media bottles. It's just, you know, I like doing things the right way. There you go, 0.2 right on the money. I apologize, my, uh, I got my hood going in the background there. Stir bars are already in. These are uh, 29 millimeter synthetic filter discs put on there with high gasket or high temp gasket maker quarter inch hole, fire them on, caps. Going to be running these two in my uh, Instapot Dual Plus today. I got two cups of water going in here. They don't like to stand straight up, so I'm just going to rig them up like that so they're kind of at a 45 degree angle. Once they're in, I'm going to set to pressure cook for 45 minutes. Actually, I just remembered that there is a sterilize function, so I will be sending it to sterilize, not pressure cook, for 45 minutes. The Instant Pot is going to go through a preheating phase before it goes to the actual cooking phase. So during this time, you're going to look in the back here and see that your vent switch needs to be set to vent. This is going to allow you to uh, purge the trapped gas on the inside. This little uh, valve here is gonna pop up. That's the lid lock, much like the 23 quart Presto. Once that comes up, that's when you can start to set your, uh, your minimum 10 minute uh, vent timer. Once your vent is over, once your purge is over, just slide it to seal and it will quickly go from preheat to cook and that's when your timer will start on the uh, face here and that's when you'll run your cycle. All right, so what happened here is that uh, it started cooking already. I've got two minutes left in my vent, but uh, this is just an indication that it's reached the appropriate internal temperature before my 10 minutes was up. So, I mean, if that happens, just seal up your vent and uh, just let it run. It'll now run for 43 minutes. I think it's also important to note that though I'm a bougie bitch and I have media bottles and all that other, you know, extraneous shit that I use for cultivation. You don't need any of that stuff. You can use a simple mason jar with a filtered lid and uh, run gallons of liquid culture and these sorts of things. You don't need to go to the extent that I have. Uh, I'm trying to run a business, so I use things that I prefer for that uh, application, but it's definitely not necessary, so keep that in mind. So, see you in 42 minutes. All right, so the cycle is done and the Lid lock has receded back into the lid. All that's left now is these are gonna to come to room temperature. I'm going to maintain a sterile barrier by keeping these foil caps on. Once inoculated though, take these off, leave them off. You can develop problems uh, between the foil and the filter if these stay on, on your shelf uh, during colonization. Whether it be your grain jars or any other vessel, the caps can trap moisture and will allow the potential growth of mold in your filters. So get rid of your foil caps. And that's all there is to it. Liquid culture is actually pretty easy.